This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, as you could see, we pick only the best spots to visit. I can't think of a more spectacular location for a kever. I mean, if you have to be in a kever, this is the place you want to be. This is the kever of Rabbi Avahu, the great Amorah. May Amorah Eretz Yisrael. And Amorah from Eretz Yisrael. Most Amorah lived in Bavel. He was an Amorah of Eretz Yisrael. It was the Talmud Muvak of Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan loved him very much. He considered him like his son. He said, Avahu Bani. I want to tell you a few things about Rabbi Avahu. Number one, the Gemara in Ksuba says that Rabbi Avahu was a Manhig in Klal Yisrael. When he came to the base Hamedrish, and he would leave the base Hamedrish and go to the house of the Caesar, all the prestigious women would come out and they would sing to him. They would say, Nasi Ba'amoy, Mani Gumasoy, Ner Hameyer, Baruch Bayacha Lashalim. He was a very prestigious and wealthy person. What did he do for a living? He dealt with Tachshite Noshem. That was his business. He was very handsome. Chazal say he was the image of Yaakov Avinu. One time he looked ex- exceptionally exuberant and radiating. And uh, the students, Rabbi Yochanan, said, What happened? He fell, he won the lottery. Rabbi Yochanan said, No, he must have come across a chidosh. And they asked Rabbi Avo, Yeah, did you come across a chidosh? He said, Yes. And that's the pshat. Chachmas Adam Ta'ir Panav. Now, Rabbi Avo was Mechabed the Shabbos. He would sit on an ivory chair and he would blow on the bellows to stoke the coals for Shabbos. Rabbi Yosef, you're going to like this. Why is Rabbi Avo buried on the beach? Not everyone is like to be buried on the beach. I mean, it's a zuchus. You see, I don't... This is a spectacular view. Rabbi Avohu, nobody in history was makbid on Malava Malka like Rabbi Avo. Rabbi Avo was makbid every Matzah Shabbos to Shecht a third born calf, which is the fattest, and eat the kidneys of the calf. It's the Gemara in Shabbos Kufiya Tesla Base. Ask the Gemara, why did he have to shecht a whole calf just to eat the kidneys? Use the calf that his wife used the flanken for the chulent, and the leftover kloyos, he could have Malava Malka. Why do you have to shecht a special cow for Malava Malka? They asked him the question, and he said, you know what, you're right. So he used the leftovers of the cow from Shabbos from Malava Malka and on that day a lion came and ate a, a calf from his flock and from there he learned that from Malava Malka you're not allowed to eat leftovers. You have to make fresh food, sorry ladies, from Malava Malka. No, except my wife knows already, right? Fresh food from Malava Malka. So it's Paskin and the Sefer Maranon Verabanon. You don't eat leftovers from Malava Malka special food cooked davka from Malava Malka from Malava Malka. Now why did he eat the kidneys? Because the Torah says Matzah Shabbos you have to daven for Eitzah Toiva and the kidneys give Eitzah so therefore he ate the kidneys. Now, okay. So Revo is Makbid on Malava Malka. This is my own. You can like it. You don't have to like it. What is Malava Malka? It connects the Yemei HaChoyl to the Yemei HaShabbos. So Rabbi Avohu is buried all the way in the farthest extremity of Eretz Yisrael to be able to connect Chutz Laaretz to Eretz Yisrael. Because he was Makbed on Malava Malka, so he was connected. Yimei Achot, Yimei Shabbos, he's buried on the beach to connect Chutz Laaretz to Eretz Yisrael. Okay, not bad. So Rabbi Avohu was very Makbed on the covered of the Marada Asra. When he went to the south, he passed him like Rabbi Hanina, the Mardas of the south. When he went to the north, he passed him like Rabbi Yochanan, his Rebbe, the Mardas of Tiveria. Now, Rabbi Avo was an expert in Agadita. The Gemara in Saita says on Daf Mem, Rabbi Avo would give a shir in Agadita. Rabbi Chia gave a shir in Halacha. Nobody went to Rabbi Chia's shir, everybody went to Rabbi Avohu's shir. The Api Karsim hated Rabbi Avo. He knew how to argue with the Api Karsim. He, okay. Rabbi Avo was one who was Masake in the Takanas of Tkia Shoifer. Tkia, Shvarim, Terua, Tkia. That was the Takana of Rabbi Avo. Says Yushalmi in Avoy Dezara. Right before Rabbi Avo passed away, he saw in his mind's eye 13 rivers of Aparsimain, Aparsimain, of Balsam. <laughs> Balsam rivers, aroma, aromatic rivers. 
He says, I can't believe I'm getting schar in Oilam Abba. I thought I wasted it all. And Hashem said, no, don't worry, you're getting schar in Oilam Abba. Says the Meshachach Man Parshish Kisisa. The Rambam writes in the Mar Nebuchim that the same way Hashem has Yud Gimel Midois, a Rav Umanig has Yud Gimel Midois. Sometimes Midas Hadin, sometimes Midas Harachamim, sometimes Teferes, sometimes Oinshim, sometimes Chesed. And you have to know when to meet at which Midah. Because Rabbi Avo was Rav Umanik B Yisrael, he was afraid he did not execute the Yud Gimel Midois of the Rav in the proper way. So Hashem showed him, don't worry, you still have Yud Gimel Naharais Afarsimim, and you're going to be rewarded because you meted out all Yud Gimel Midois, the same way the Rebunish them as Yud Gimel Midois, Manik B Yisrael has Yud Gimel Midois, Rabbi Avo used all these Yud Gimel Midois in the proper fashion. And therefore, he's the great Rabbi Avo. We have a tradition that any Amoira, he could be Mechaye Mesim. So here we are, we're on the Lechoif Hayam, standing by Rabbi Avo. All the tefillah should be Neskabel, Barachim, and Varatsain. We have my father to say a capital to him. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.